New at five, the Cochise County Sheriff's Office is looking to add some heavy duty hardware to the border. They're testing big drones at the U.S.-Mexico border they hope to deploy. 12 News journalist William Pitts was there. What if you could keep an eye on the border nonstop, 17, 18 hours a day? Well, the Cochise County Sheriff's Office is trying to do that with a new drone, a big one. One that stays in the air for hours on end. Cochise County, right on the border fence. Someone slips through the fence and into the U.S. Cochise County wants to send this. Or maybe this. A fleet of drones that can intercept a person on camera, even on infrared, and direct law enforcement to them. Do not attempt to run or hide. If there's an injury, drop medical supplies. And all of this without landing for hours. That's the whole point of this. The Cochise County Sheriff's Office has been working with a company called Dragonfly to build their dream drone. That's why the Outrider is such a huge project. This is going to change the game for, for this kind of operations. Captain Tim Williams says the office already uses drones. They're small, cheap, and only last about 20 minutes. And the possibility of having that thing deployed across the border is, is definitely what we're looking at. These drones, Dragonfly says, can operate for hours. There's a gas generator on them that charges the batteries as it flies. If you wanted to push it and you wanted to make the payload actually fuel as well, yeah, you could run this thing for, you know, day and a half maybe. Dragonfly says they're still working out the kinks, but they want to roll them out soon. I think we've got a probably two to, two to three months of more work to do. Think about having the ability to have a quad style copter that can stay up for seven hours and use that to do surveillance and things like that. Why do they need drones that are going to be over people's homes for 17 hours a day? David Moss with the Electronic Frontier Foundation is thinking about that. So essentially the privacy and civil liberties and human rights of people who live at the border is the cost that people pay for this technology. Moss studies border security, surveillance, and the virtual wall, technology deployed at the border. He says Cochise County has a lot of cameras, drones, and surveillance equipment. He's not only worried about drones at the border, but also over things like protests and demonstrations. We hear right now that you know, border crossings are an all-time low, so it kind of makes you wonder why this technology is necessary at this time. It's not zero. It's still happening every day. It's still happening in our high mountains, and it's still happening across the border. And that's why Cochise County says it wants these new drones, but it will cost a lot of money. They don't even have a price for them yet, far more than the consumer drones they use now. Cochise County says they'll roll out first as a pilot program, a proof of concept. Then, if they work as advertised, the county can talk about buying them. At the border, William Pitts, 12 News. William, thank you.